Grand Theft Auto 5 has been out for quite a while now, and frankly some of the stuff that happens in it is super weird. That's why today GameRanks brings you 10 Grand Theft Auto 5 concepts that make no sense. Number 10, ambulance drivers that have no concept of what their job is. So somebody gets hit and a paramedic shows up. That makes sense though, that's how things happen. But if the guy gets out to help somebody who got hit or beaten up or whatever, let's say that paramedic gets hit by a car or beaten up or something by somebody like, I don't know, maybe you, because I've been beating up paramedics in Grand Theft Auto since it was an option. The other paramedic gets out, helps him, and then they drive away. They just totally forget about why they were there. Like, I'm surprised they don't stop in at a 7-Eleven and get a big gulp or something. Can you stop in at the McDonald's, bro? I'm hungry and need to pick up some food, man. Meanwhile, original car accident or player cruelty victim is just lying there like you intended. Number nine, building strength can't be done in any gym. Oh sure, there are modeled gyms and you can glitch yourself into them. Bear in mind, there are no doors and you can wander around and look like you're in a gym. And I don't know anybody who just goes to the gym to look like they go to the gym, doesn't exercise or do anything like that. I mean, I'm sure there are people, but that's pretty pitiful. You have to go out and fight people to build strength. I mean, you can also play sports like tennis. You know, tennis, where only the strong survive. Playing a match of tennis is basically the equivalent of living in the world of Mad Max for a year, but you can't go in and lift weights, which is the natural, probably quickest way to do it, not only in real life, but it would be if it existed in this game, which is why people tend to go to the gym instead of get involved in tiger fighting or even scarier, tennis. Number eight, it's Grand Theft Auto, and you have to buy cars if you're playing online. You find a high-end car in the streets, you still have to pay for it. In Grand Theft Auto, a game literally named for the crime of stealing cars. I mean, I get it. It probably has something to do with balancing out the game. You know, game design and all that. It's harder than it looks. There's a reason that you did this, yada yada, whatever. But you have to understand how inconsistent and weird it is to essentially break into a car and then have to pay for it. And not in a you get arrested for stealing a car way, but more like an in a car dealership way. Fortunately, there's no loans and haggling, but still. Number seven, paranoid pedestrians. I mean, basically stand next to a pedestrian for a short period of time and they act like you've been stalking them for years. Call the police like, there's a guy, he's been standing here for a short while. And the police are like, hold on, does he look Italian or black? Or maybe like a hillbilly. Those are three groups of people we're traditionally prone to harass. And the person's like, yup, he is definitely one of those three things. You know, because that's an accurate description of the three protagonists. Now there's frankly absolutely no way whatsoever Every single person in the world has a restraining order out for all three of your characters. I just don't believe that. So the only other explanation is discrimination of some sort, or I guess simplistic artificial intelligence. Number six, one really bad game concept in a lot of games is that you shouldn't fix physics problems like this one. If it's not a literal wall, such as the side of a building, if there's a very, very steep incline, a bike can do it. Oh sure, it may not be easy, and it certainly won't look right, but a bike can do it. Go ahead, try it. Number five, you're up taking a sniper rifle to a helicopter, you look into the scope, point it directly at the copter, and you're like, hey, I can hear that copter much louder. Now, this is not Metal Gear Solid 2. You're not pointing the direction of Micah aims to try and find his pacemaker. You're looking through a sniper rifle scope at a vehicle. The vehicle, suddenly, you can hear way better. Like, it makes perfect sense. Your eyeball apparently is sensitive to sound waves. And your three characters happen to be three characters with this amazing mutant ability. They could be a small team of mutants that thwarts power-grabbing evil mutants by looking at them through telescopes and hearing them better. Actually, this is this is a bad idea. Number four, NPCs talk shit and Rockstar ain't telling them nothing. But if you're online and you're trash talking on the mic, you can get reported and banned for it. And if you send text with curse words in them, they're censored. And it's not an option, that's just how it is. And it's really not like you're playing a game where the single player mode isn't utterly filled with offensive language and scenarios. And that's super weird, but on top of that, people can mute you themselves and have control control over their online experience if they don't want to deal with you. And that's good. But if people have that control over their experience, why go a lot further than that? And to be completely honest, I'm not against the idea of some kind of moderation. There are going to be people that go way beyond the bounds of what's okay, even in Grand Theft Auto. But it's still, it just feels weird. I mean, this is an offensive game straight up. That's most likely part of the reason you bought it in the first place. Number three, and this has been present in Grand Theft Auto for I don't even know how long. You want to knock out a traffic pole? Do it. Barely slow you down. Who cares? Go right through it. Park benches or tree
trees, though. Oh, you're done. Immediate halt and all momentum, and no damage done. It's like these items are made of diamond, and they're rooted all the way down deep into the ground, and are all reinforced with steel and concrete and adamantium. And there's a slightly rational explanation that kind of applies, but not really. And that's that these structures in real life are designed to detach from the ground in case there's a crash. I don't really buy the idea that there's no damage whatsoever to the item, and it completely stops you in your tracks entirely. This is weird. Number two, if a player picks on you specifically and just continually kills you, it will not harm their good sport reputation. However, if you're trying to destroy their vehicles, you're penalized. Now, if you ask me, this place is more value in material possession than in human life. In this case, both are virtual, but still, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, you know you're gonna die at some point when you're playing online games. That's part of it. But it seems like you also know that your stuff is gonna get destroyed because it's, well, it's stuff. And frankly, Grand Theft Auto is made for blowing stuff up. I spend more time doing that in Grand Theft Auto than just about anything else. And it just seems like the good sport out there is not the one who picks on a specific player repeatedly. Just saying. And finally, number one, somebody's getting robbed. You stop it, pick up their $500 wallet, return it to the victim, and you get $50 for your troubles. I mean, that's a little more generous than they probably would be in real life, so good on them. But if you kill them and take their money after you've given them that back, it's not $450 you get, it's like 70, 80 bucks. And you're like, really? Where, where'd the other money go? I mean, this is Grand Theft Auto. I don't need 450 bucks desperately to survive or anything. But you had a lot more money. Did you eat the money? When you play Grand Theft Auto 5, do you recognize any weird game concepts? If so, let's talk about it in the comments. Also, if you happen to enjoy this video, do us a big favor and click the like button. If you aren't subscribed to Game Ranks, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. The best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. We thank you very much for watching this video, and we will see you again next time right here on Game Ranks.